What's up guys? This is Derek Howes with The Protein Chef. If you've ever wondered if cooking with protein powder destroys or denatures it, is safe, or have needed another reason to make protein cheesecake more a part of your life, then you've come to the right place. By the end of this video, you'll have the simplified answers to all of these questions. With that said, let's jump right into it. One of the questions I get asked the most is that if heating up the protein powder destroys it, whether baking, microwaving, or sunbathing with it, leaving it in a hot car, or anything short of lighting it on fire, the short answer is, cue the drum roll, no. Now you might be asking why, so let me do my best to simplify this answer. To understand why, you must first understand what protein powder is. Whatever type of protein powder you use, whether it's whey, casein, egg, soy, and so on, it's all gonna be the same thing. For example, whey protein is the byproduct of the cheese making process. Egg protein is made from pasteurized egg whites that have been dehydrated. Soy protein is a protein that is isolated from soybean, and the list goes on. So what is the same thing? They are all real digestible food. I think some people quickly forget this. It's a supplement, so they think that it's some type of magical food that's not real, which isn't the case at all. Protein powder is real food, just like chicken that we bake, meals we microwave, and jerky or dehydrated foods we leave in the car. Heating up protein powder doesn't destroy it at all. Another question I get asked is if cooking with protein powder denatures it at all. This one is a bit more complicated, so before I give you my answer, I'll do my best to help you understand it. First off, denaturing here is basically the changing of the protein structure, which your body does anyways. Imagine your protein as a rope with various knots in it, and the knots are your amino acids. Those knots becoming untied means they are becoming denatured. If the protein powder was a Rubik's Cube and you denatured it, then you would essentially be rearranging the colors. In this case, cooking protein powder does denature it. The structure changes when the protein powder is heated. Is this bad? No, not at all. The same thing happens to meat, eggs, soybeans, and so on. Even though the structure has changed, the nutritional value remains the same. If your protein powder is 129 calories per serving, one gram of fat, five grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein, it's going to be exactly that even after cooking it. The only factor that's gonna change is sometimes digestion. When protein powder is mixed with water, it's gonna digest much faster than when baked with something like rolled oats that take much longer to digest. But at the end of the day, you're not losing any nutritional value. Imagine denaturing as a slinky of amino acids that becomes untangled. You can still eat the slinky and you're still going to absorb it all. So is cooking with protein powder safe? Now that you hopefully understand the simplified answers to if cooking with protein powder destroys or denatures it, I think we can be certain that cooking with protein powder is 100% safe. If you can bake meats or cook eggs on the stovetop, you can without question cook protein powder. So basically to sum everything up, cooking with protein powder doesn't destroy it, it does denature it, and it is 100% safe. So go bake some protein bars, cheesecake, cookies, make some protein oatmeal, or anything else that your sweet tooth desires. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. With that said, keep it simple, don't overthink, everything in moderation, and of course, stay healthy.